due to the 15 second rule, we can't really show you the, <laughs> we can't really start, but it is so absurd that these people have Tears of the Kingdom living rent free in their head. Yes. So you didn't know Tears of the Kingdom was the last Zelda game ever released. And you would think that because the internet loves Zelda so much, they love Zelda so much, you know. I remember back in the day, uh, everyone said, well, Zelda games are all so perfect, you know. How dare, if you criticize Zelda, it's sacrilege into gaming, okay. Or something like that. That, you know. And of course... You know, there were people who didn't like Skyward Sword, obviously. But the hatred people have for Breath of the Wild, there was a small amount of people, okay, who thought it ruined this franchise because, you know, he you know, how the F did they get away with a $70 DLC? Yes. The Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is still some eight dollar DLC. Like these people are just incapable of thinking of rational thoughts that they still think like this. Like tons of people love played and loved Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, this isn't anything new. They love this game. They love this IP, and they want Nintendo to succeed. Okay. Yeah, okay. They want Nintendo to succeed, obviously. They love Nintendo's games. They love Nintendo's IPs. But these people are so upset over Tears of the Kingdom that it lives rent free in the head a year later. Yes, they're this upset over Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, no game has pissed people off besides Call of Duty and Fortnite more than Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, which is a game most people love. Not even Mario Bros. Wonder has this type of hatred towards it for no reason. Okay, not even most games have this random, almost unnecessary hatred towards them. No one's going on saying, yeah, Mario Wonder is the worst Mario game ever made. There are people who, who probably do hate the game, but very, very small amount of people. Okay, no one's complaining about uh, Pete's Soul Time. Nah, no one cares. Okay, but Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, any of all games of 2023 had the most unnecessary hatred towards Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, most unnecessary hated game of 2023. That's the award Tears of the Kingdom gets. Okay. And you can also work in Breath of the Wild too, but most people love Breath of the Wild, okay? But I think these people really drag down Breath of the Wild's score from having a 9 out of 10 because these people are so upset they changed the art style for Zelda. And it has been mostly slow news because, of course, Nintendo hasn't really, really seen many big games. Besides the whole Paper Mario dialogue controversy, which is really stupid. They didn't change the story. It's still the same goddamn game. Okay, you know, I get, I don't defend all Nintendo's choices, obviously, okay, like, I don't defend the 3DS and Wii U era, okay, people are like, but you're a Nintendo fan, okay, you're a Nintendo fan, you should be defending the Wii U and 3DS era, no, I'm not defending the Wii U and 3DS era, the Wii U and 3DS era, in my opinion, is the most boring Nintendo era ever, there are a few good games out there on that era, obviously, but nothing is as boring as the Wii U and 3DS era. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.